Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Libra, I am here to do your, um, it's basically a September forecast, man. It's a September forecast. Um, in love, right? Um, Libra, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you, all right? So um, just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't. And uh, if, you know, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. Thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Thank you, thank you for all of your support from the bottom of my heart. And this channel is for adults only. Okay, Libra, um, I feel like you're in Empress energy here. You've put in a lot of effort into yourself, your spiritual journey, your healing, um, your future path, okay? Some kind of creative endeavor I think that you've been nurturing is going to be paying off for you if it hasn't already. You're very abundant here. You've got nine pentacles and the most you can have in the deck is ten technically, right? Um, but I mean, come on, you're, you, you put in the work and you're about to be very, very successful and abundant with that in the month of September. Okay. I also feel like you do have divine protection here. Um, you know, but there's something underlying about this Archangel Michael. Uh, I feel like in, you know, for him to show up means that there's someone trying to do something. It may have something to do with your pentacles. You could be in a twin flame soulmate connection or dealing with a Gemini. But I feel like this, this soulmate connection has been very stagnant. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. But this person has been doing absolutely nothing. I, I don't think they've been putting in the work that you've put in. Okay, and I don't think you've been hearing from this person. They haven't been showing you anything. I mean, it's been like crickets chirping. You hear, you've heard nothing from this person, and now I feel like they're um, getting empowered and going to be approaching you here, wanting to reach out to you. Um, they want that love back. This is definitely a soulmate connection, but I feel like this person has a choice to make possibly between two, but somebody I feel in September is going to be reaching out. Uh, but Archangel Michael, ah, they're protecting you from a karmic individual that feels very threatened by you. Yeah. Surviving the daily hustle. I feel like this is about money. This is regarding maybe your person and money. Um, yeah, look, and we've been getting this for like, I've been getting it all week. You know, the karmic retaliation kind of thing. Karmic individuals, uh, the queen of swords showing up all over the place usually. Um, yeah, there's a, a karmic, a feminine, a dark feminine energy that feels very threatened about losing this person who is approaching you. It could very well be the twin flame soulmate connection here that we're talking about. You are by far the empress here. I mean, there's a big difference. Okay. And, and this karmic individual, I feel like they're very, um, like this is the kind of person who will post a bunch of pictures on Facebook to make them look really super happy and everything, but really behind closed doors, it's absolutely miserable. They're absolutely miserable. Everybody's miserable, okay? But they want to make people think that what they've got going on is like perfect, like, I don't know, the Brady Bunch. They paint the picture of a Brady Bunch kind of connection here with your person but in all actuality it's pretty bad and with you um, being as awesome as you are and as abundant as you are and having put in the work um, your person really wants to reach out and that threatens this person here they don't like that they may want to retaliate they may want revenge here but Archangel Michael is out here saying that you have, you're protected from this person, this karmic. 
Yeah, what else can you show me here? So someone, you know, you may feel this energy too. They could be just sending you like bad juju. You know what I mean? But um, you have some protection here from Archangel Michael. Yeah, I feel like this is a twin flame soulmate connection. Yeah, this drama queen, they may even come towards you with some kind of offer or there, you know what, they could have, they, there may be a proposal here on the table, on the table with your person. This person's very toxic. They have a lot of bad behaviors, okay? Um, and I'm seeing like stuff laced on these margarita glasses and I'm seeing the word poison here so everyone be very careful you know with what you drink what what's given to you but that's not for everyone though but this could be there this could these two could be engaged there could be a proposal or some kind of commitment here that's on the table I think it's this drama queen is like getting upset saying look it's it's you know you, you either choose me and just me and forever me or you know what I mean it's I feel like an ultimatum here I feel like it's an ultimatum because it says there's a proposal or an offer on the table so I feel like this person gave your person an ultimatum they want to reach out to you and this karmic's going to retaliate. What's the central focus here for Libra? Libra in September. Yeah, this person wants to cause some chaos. I feel like this is going to be one of those um, ultimatums for your person. Um, you may get an unexpected visit here and I feel like it's I had to stop for a second and feel what I'm feeling okay but I feel like this is your person coming your person's on their way they can't deny the fact that you're their empress and this karmic individual over here look karmic's everywhere guys it's in so many of my readings these days yeah see this is like a calm before the storm here I feel like you can sense this. This is the same card that's been coming up in my readings also. You know, this is where you get your popcorn and your glitter basket, right? You're not in the drama. You're watching it. You're going to be watching this drama unfold with your popcorn. This, you know, you got to the movie theater just in time, right? To get your glitter basket of popcorn, get your seat, get all cozy, comfy, right? You know? Yeah. And now you're like sitting there watching those really awesome advertisements that we all know and love, you know? And kind of that's the fun time when you get to still kind of chit chat with your friend or whatever and just kind of get in the mood for the movie, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is that time right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like you're not in this drama, but it's about you. Um, it's it it swirls around you, but you have like front row seats here. I feel like on both sides, your persons and this karmics, they get triggers all the time. They'll hear your name or see your same car or you know especially your person you know hearing your name all the time and seeing the car all the time and seeing these places where you used to hang out all the time you know but this person's running out of time <laughs> running out of time tick tock I feel like this person really needs to um get their act together when it comes to this karmic here when it comes to this situation your person needs to stand up for themselves here okay 
but yeah they're also in a big rush to get to you so expect that pop-up in September um, your person's gonna feel like time is running out which it already has you know but yeah just sit back enjoy your popcorn things are gonna start shaking up now you know this is that quiet before the storm here the, the calm before the storm, right? That silence, non-action. That's what you're waiting for, that action movie, right? It hasn't started yet, but it's about to. Someone's feeling very trapped, very frustrated in all of this. I feel it's your masculine. Yeah, they want this love. Yep, this is that unconditional love. This person could be getting ready to take a gamble, take a risk. Yeah, something's going down in September here, Libra. I'm telling you. Yeah. And it doesn't have anything to do with you, but it's like all about you. Yeah, and this soulmate connection here. Look at this. Look at the hearts. Your person really wants to come forward here. And there's a karmic that knows it. You have your... I feel like you're turning your back to this situation or you already did. You've been just focused on you, Libra. Working on you. Building your pentacles. Man, just focused. Right? You're focused, man. You're single. You're not speaking to anybody. Because you're just paying attention to your own business and being all wonderful and independent. And you've turned your back. You're leaving the situation. But man, look, your person is hanging on. There's this unexplainable pull that they can't resist. You are so magnetic. This could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection since we've got two cards out here and that pull. Um, yeah, this is... This is it's going to start getting intense in September, okay? Yeah. It's going to start getting intense. Are some of you tent camping in September? <laughs> you know, getting intense. Oh, um, yeah, some of you could be tent camping in September. Yeah, not facing the truth, irrational reasoning. Man. Such contradictory, well, we are dealing with three separate energies here. I feel like it's this person up here, you know, and they could even be like doing a lot of drugs here because it's, I'm seeing highest high and adrenaline rush. I'm seeing a roller coaster ride here and this drama queen causing chaos um, and irrational thinking, not facing the truth that this, their commitment seems very cold and because of that it's probably going to die. Um, you know, it's a cold relationship. There's going to be gossip, I think, and children revolving around maybe possible children. I just think it's very immature. That's what I'm feeling. It's immature talk. Um, and this, this person's going to act very immature. I'm telling you, drama queen. Drama, Libra. Drama, causing chaos. This is just very immature, like a bunch of children. Like a bunch of young children. Because they're jealous. They're envious of this connection. They're envious because this person loves you. They love you. And you've got that magnetic pull that these people don't have because they're too immature. You know? Uh, wait, I want to see. Yeah, you're going to be watched too. I want to see what this gossip is about. What's this gossip about? What's the gossip? You know, these drama queens, and usually when I see gossip, I'm like, ah, oh, they're gossiping. And I move, I move on. I don't really pay attention to it, but I forget that most of you, that's kind of what you want to know. What's the, what are they talking about, you know? Happiness. 
I just feel like this is them being very playful and very blood ties, inner circle. What are they gossiping about? You guys reconciling, being happy, or your person wanting to reconcile, but you turning your back on your person. Um, possible court case because you're, they could be using this. Um, your pa your person's passion for you in a court case against them in order to get the children. Yeah. I feel like this isn't just just gossip. I feel like this is planning against your person. I feel like they may be tempted to use your reconciliation against them in some kind of court case when it comes to a family unit and the children. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling like there. So that I feel like they're planning, plotting. I feel like Libra, you don't want any part of this. You don't want any freaking part of it. Look at you heading up those stairs, turning your every time I see you in here pretty much you're turning your back in this situation. Um, you're heading up these stairs, you're leveling up. You're like, you know what? Uh, nah. Nope. Not this Libra. <laughs> right? You're ascending. And I feel like you've done your healing. You know, you didn't get justice in this. You know, you stand for justice. You want justice, but you didn't really get it. You had to get it on your own. You found justice on your own, Libra, by healing and now being able to move forward out of this nasty, chaotic energy. Right? You're like, I clearly don't belong down here. I need to go up here. And that's what you're doing, I think, in the month of September. You're trying to move forward. You're moving on. Because you know that this, you don't want this karmic energy around you. Okay? Yeah, and your person in September, they're just going to be reminiscing about you wanting to return. Wanting to return. They know that this is gen genuine love. And I feel like... Um, you may even hear from this person here in the because there is going to be some kind of spontaneous, po unexpected bit, uh, blah, blah, surprise visit. Yeah, there's going to be a surprise visit. This person loves you. You know, they're they're reminiscing about you. But um, honestly, I feel like you're just moving forward. You're moving on. You're moving forward. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm feeling like. You're, I feel like you're also getting signs and syn synchronicities. I saw the infinity sign when I set it down. Um, yeah, that this person's coming back around. Like, you're getting those synchronicities, but I don't think it's stopping you from moving forward in the month of September. Okay? You're just elevating, man. You're just healing and getting over this, you know? Um, but let's see what this person, what your person wants to say to you, okay? In the month of September. What does your person want to say to you in the month of September, Libra? What does Libra's person want to say to them in the month of September? Hold on, give me one more shuffle. Okay. What does Libra's person want to say to them in the month of September? Bottom of the deck. I don't know why I didn't learn the first time because I really don't want to be without you. I feel like maybe you had some of, for some of you, you met this person before, then they left, then they came back, then they left again. This person has been bouncing back and forth back and forth um, you know and perhaps they said that to you the last time I get the sense that you really don't trust what this person says much anymore um, and I, I, I get the sense that you don't really you, maybe you haven't heard from this person in a while either they're about to pop up I'm telling you okay what does Libra's person want to say to Libra 
I'm in a karma I'm in a karmic relationship, but we sleep in separate beds, okay? So this person is still with this karmic. I feel like it's about ready to come to an end. I feel like it's very cold. I said that before earlier, that it feels like a very cold relationship. And the, this person probably sleeps on a couch um, or in a separate bed. Yeah, I, I'm seeing a couch. What does this person want to say to Libra for September? What does Libra's person want to say to Libra in the month of September? When you see me, I try not to look in your eyes because I know you will see past my facade. I feel like this person also is trying to hide, like maybe they're pretending that they're happy on Facebook, you know, to keep up with appearances because that's kind of what this karmic always wants, right? They like those appearances. So they're probably told to look all happy in the photos as well. Um, I think they're really kind of afraid of this karmic individual, to be honest with you. They're kind of low-key afraid of this person, I'm telling you. And I think they're just trying to... Um, keep the peace but it's all an act if you see this person on Facebook or out and about and they're looking all happy and stuff it's a big act Libra um, and you know maybe you will be able to see right through it right okay one more card for Libra for September oops one more card for Libra for September so basically, I feel like you still have a karmic individual in the middle of this connection. I feel like this connection is overpowering that, though, to be honest. And this karmic can feel that, too, and they're very threatened. So they're kind of bumping up the what they feel is security here by retaliation and, you know, whatever they're using against your person. Um, I can't picture you with anyone else but me. I hope it's not too late. Yeah, this person does not want you want you with anyone else, Libra. That's for sure. That is for sure. You're their empress, and and you have that mag. You're magnetic, right? They know you have an explainable, unexplainable pull to you. If they can't resist you, someone else isn't going to be able to resist you either. So I think your person is really worried about like losing their chance with you at this point. They're, I feel like a lot of pressure, like they're pressed for time here, a lot of pressure for time. Um, yeah. It's just getting so, like, they're, they want to rush, but they have to close this up with somebody that they're afraid of right now. And yeah, they have no time left. They have no time left. I, I can tell you though that they really do love you. This person loves you, Libra. All right, Libra, listen, that's what I got for your September forecast. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. And um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. And until next time, Libra, take care of you. Peace out.